Okay, this video tutorial, um, we're going to talk about views. <coughs> now, um, I don't have any content on the site uh, other than this my test property here. Um, <coughs> so it's kind of hard to make a view. Um, views um, is a good way to structure content. But I'm going to use this um, a module here um, for delve generate to actually um, um, generate some content so I can actually show you, show you what's going on. Um, with it, so I'm going to just select the content type. So article, how many um, nodes do you want to generate? I don't know. Let's say 20. Um, yep, maximum number of comments per node um, zero. Maximum number of words and titles four. Basically, just getting them. <coughs> you basically you're just grabbing um, some. You're just making a node out of out of thin air, really, just so that you have some things to test. So that's that's run. So now I can go to my content, and I can see a whole bunch of articles here. And you know, it's just it's just um just some weird text, and it has images and stuff like that in there, <coughs> um, because um, they it has an actual image field, and they just make some images as well. So it's a good it's good for testing. Um, all right. So now what we're gonna do is gonna go, we're gonna make a new view. So, so um, maybe um, maybe you want to be able to, you know, show content in like a specified list, um, you know, in a block or on a page, or whatever. Um, so let's see how that happens. So we're just going to go to views, and we're going to add a new view, and then we give it a view name. So this um, views is one of the best modules ever. But I'm gonna like I'm just going to call it test view right and you can give it a description if you want to um, and it actually will put out your um, machine name and later we'll show you how to actually embed a view into your template so it's worth noting the little machine name um, now straight off the bat it does make it a bit easy for you to um, you know get started with it so we're gonna show content um, content of type uh, article um, and you can have tagged with. It's just the the easiest way to start selecting them down. Or you can actually files or comments or users or locations or web form submissions. There, there's a lot of things you can do with it. But this would be the basic idea. So we're going to show content of type article. We're going to create a page. Um, it'll be like you know my news, whatever it is. We can create a page or we can create a block or we don't have to create any of them and just embed it <coughs> where we want to or decide what we want to do with it later but the easiest I'm going to create a page and the path I'm just going to call it news yep so real estate slash news and this will show um, items to display I'm going to use a page or yep create a menu link why not and um, you can kind of on for format list list um, of you know maybe fields and that's that's what I that's what I want to go with uh, I could go with the um, the teasers which has I echo back to the um, content type um, you know content types article manage display teaser and basically however I set this up is how that would work but I don't want to do that I just want I want um, fields yep um, so we got the fields, and we're gonna just um, continue and edit. Okay, so <coughs> all of, um, views does it temporary, temporary until you hit save. So I'm just gonna straight, save it straight off the bat. Yep. And what is what did we call that news? So I'm just gonna go slash news and see what it looks like. So it just gets the titles of mine, and then there's a little pager. Um, that I can go back and forth with or whatever All right so this is the basic example so let's add a few things so views has fields so the, the first thing we're gonna do be doing is you know throwing in oh my jQuery is gone on me there we go field adds so we're just gonna add and we're gonna go um, content of body so no, 
um, basically because we want to show a little snippet of this information. Okay, create label. I don't want a label. Um, <coughs> style settings. I can customize the label, the wrapper. Use you know, you know, add default classes. That's good for theming. Um, no results behavior. You can actually specify what's going on. Um, you can <coughs> strip HTML tags is what I want to and trim. Um, for this example, we're going to trim to a maximum length, and then we're going to go more. And we're going to apply all. So we have the body. We, now we can go back. Um, now that we have that uh, maximum length, I want you know say 200 characters. You know of the body. Add ellipses. Add a read more link if output is trimmed. You can do that, but I'd rather have something else. <coughs> okay. So now we can go down here and we can get it like live preview. So we can see the title there. We can see um, the content um, coming out like that. And obviously, if I go here, what's happened? Nothing because I didn't save the changes. So I'm going to my views page that is that I created. Okay, and now it's coming out like this. Now, just to play devil's advocate, don't know why that's happening. I think it's just um is being slow at the moment. Um, on formatted list, I, like we can select lists, and actually there's other modules that can can tap into this and um, to views or extend views to give you more options. But maybe like let's say I want a grid. Yep, and I want you know number of columns three. So I want to apply that, and I'm going to save my changes. So that's saved. And now I'm going to check that out, and now I get a grid. Yay! And I go next. All right. Okay. <coughs> so now maybe we want to add another field. All right. Uh, so because my jQuery is going slow, I'm just going to do that. So field, I'm going to add, and I'm going to hit co um, content image appears in article. So it's actually images that are generated. And I don't want to create a label. Just, um, and then I can select my image style. And I'm just going to say thumbnail. And linked to, I'm going to link to content. Um, basically the, the node content. Um, and I'm just going to hit apply. And so now I'm going to I'll get that. Now, <clears throat> now when I, like I get a preview of it. Um, and that's, that's all right. But <coughs> maybe I want the um, image at the top. So I'm going to go rearrange. I'm going to put my image up here. I'm going to hit apply. And then I'm going to hit hit save. And I can see that's refreshed. And so now my images are at the top. Now you can style these um, how you want. Yep. Yep. So you can you can control the fields that you want. You can control kind of the format that you want, um, <clears throat> because generally when you go here and then you look at them, um, and then you see check out the the classes that they're making, that every single thing is is in its own you know unique um, classed div, so that when you go and you can start to you know just grab that CSS and then you can you know make that float left, make that one float you know right, what you know then make this you know control like. You know, absolute control over over um, the theming of of this view, um, <coughs> or you can add your own classes. Um, so, <coughs> what we're going to do now? I'm just going to show you some other things. We can add a header. So I'm going to add a header, um, and I'm just gonna put global, you know, text area. You can actually put a view area in there. That's really cool. But I'm going to just put, <coughs> you know, full HTML. Yeah, so you can give it a header. You can give it a footer in the same sort of way. Um, you can, you know, use pager. Um, there's pager options. You can use um, 
you know, display all items, page items, you can give it a mini pager, and also check on the settings for them, give it an op offset, um, number of pages, first next, you can have pretty good control over basically everything. I'm going to leave it default at the moment. Um, more link, um, yeah, you can just change the, that. Also, you, there's other modules that will turn that pager into like a um, like Ajax um, scroll thing, like Twitter, or whatever. They, um, you you name it, they've thought of it, basically. So I'll just cancel that. All right, so this is the, the basic settings of use. Um, now, also, you can control the um, the sort cri criteria. Um, so basically, you can sort ascending. Um, you can add multiple sort criteria um, based on generally anything, um, like you know comment count. Let's just say the amount of comments that people have, and then sort that um, from there. Or like say the idea of the thing you want them to be to be up there. But all of basically all the sorting features that you want um, are there. Um, and also you can you can you can do what's known as expose um, this filter to allow them to change it. So basically you can people are trying to contact me today. Yep. So type article. If you type basic package or whatever and it's gonna be gone. <laughs> because because uh, this, the, well, there's nothing in there. But if I set the type um, web form, I hit apply. It's going to be email to to agent or contact us. Or if I have um, property apply, um, never before seen things there. Right. So let's just um, you know, see what we can do with like we'll, we'll be using some exposed filters later in our new view. Um, but I'm just going to take that from. I don't want them to change that at, at the moment. Um, and then also advanced, um, you can actually pass arguments to this view, which is really helpful uh, a little bit later. Um, <clears throat> so let's just save these changes to what we're doing. Um, also, I'm going to add a block. Might as well add a block. And blocks can actually, you can change the default. Say I only want five, or you know, five items in my my block. And I'm going to hit save. Um, now I can go to structure, blocks, test this, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Hit apply. I can actually give it permission to lock it off to if it's like a member or you know any permission based thing. But I'm just going to save that. Okay, I'm going to go to blocks and refresh that. I'm going to roll down, I see test this, I'm going to configure that, and I want it to put it in, um, say, the primary links, yep, um, I want to leave it alone for those, all pages, I only want to put it on maybe the front page, so, you know, front, let's put it on the front page only, um, content types, show only on, uh, you can do that, or roles, or users, we'll just save that, okay, so, now we have primary, we see that we have test list, so now I can go home, and I can see, oh, well, here's my crazy, crazy block here, but um, obviously this is not good for the theme to have it as a grid view, so we're going to have to edit that, and we're going to go to the block, and we're going to we'll format, um, and we'll say on formatted list, apply, Save my real estate, then I can go home. So now we have this huge big block <coughs> right here. So it's just a great way of, to move content around around your um, site and format it um, in a really easy, e you know, easily way. Um, maybe maybe because of this block, I just want to. Um, I'm going to make this image way smaller just because. So I'd go into image and I would go, alright, what's the thumbnail? Tiny. We have tiny because we made that from before. 
and I wanted the body to be um, trimmed down to 100 save and now you can see that there's that there's that and we can style that so that's floating left stuff like that um, and that's pulling you know images from the content and these are just this is just test stuff so anyway that's an introduction um, to the basics of views and what views are you know used for